part of the issue uh, in, in trying to get music onto vinyl is adjusting the groove spacing uh, to get the maximum amount of program material or the maximum volume or both on the record and uh, in this case it's done by a computer that's built into the lathe system. This is the cutting head that cuts the groove in the phonograph record. There's a stylus down at the very bottom of the, of the head there. And then the computer is up in the rack up here on the right uh, and that adjusts the groove spacing um, by knowing in advance what's coming. So it has to look at the information uh, prior to cutting the groove. In this case it's about a half a turntable revolution and uh, it adjusts the groove spacing and also the depth uh, of the cutting head uh, for maximum uh, volume and or time. The groove vibrates to side to side and to some extent up and down in stereo. So you have to be adjusting the speed of the motor that moves the carriage with the cutting head across the disc. And that's all handled by computer now. This is a Winkler & Donabure made in Germany. Uh, they made the last one in the 1970s and they sold it in the 1980s to somebody in uh, Argentina, I think. But they don't make these anymore. It's made specifically for manufacturing record jacks. That's all it can do. After the lacquers get sprayed, they go into the nickel bath overnight and the electroplating process takes 12 to 24 hours to build up a layer thick enough to make a reverse copy of the lacquer, which can then be used to either press records or make other plates. The way we determine how to fit a side onto the phonograph record is this, and it's an easy times 10 correlation. If the, the side is 24 minutes, it has to average 240 groups per inch to fit on the, on the disc. If it's 18 minutes, it has to average 180 groups per inch. So that's the finished lacquer for side A.